China is playing chess for world power. Now, I'm going to post this article on the bottom, and you can read it in its entirety for yourself. I'm only going to speak on bits and pieces of this because this is information that I spoke on in the past. And it's interesting that when the warning goes forward, when people come to you with information, when everything seems to be doing well, people tend to shun warnings. It's like if we think back in biblical days, before the flood came, there were always prophets that were sent out to warn the people, to get yourself right or this is what's going to happen. But because of the fact that the sun is shining, people are smiling, people are going to Disney World, they're buying new cars and clothes, women are twerking, they're doing everything they want to do. The politicians are giving you what you want. They're passing bills uh, that would protect you. And everything seems to be going well. But there's danger that's looming. And it takes my mind back to a dream that's on my dream channel. And if I find that dream, I'll post it on the bottom and you guys can check it out you should go to my dream channel and subscribe because much of what we see happening today I dreamed about in time past and not too many people heard that dream because people tend to ignore things that don't interest them but I was standing on the shores and I saw this oncoming storm I'm not gonna tell you the whole of the dream but I put the link to that dream on the bottom but it talks about the stuff that's happening today and what we see happening with China could turn into an all-out war. I'm saying a serious all-out war. China is not innocent at all. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have watched Kung Fu movies. Now we watch Kung Fu movies just to see the fighting. Especially if we're into combat fighting martial arts, boxing, wrestling, or what have you. But pay attention to a lot of the politics that happen in Chinese movies, and Chinese Kung Fu movies, and how they fight each other for power. Now, China came to the United States with some cheap stuff. As long as we can remember being on this planet our mothers had china or tea uh, tea sets plates cups and it, and it was actually it was called your chinas you know we have a china cabinet you know to put our plates and cups and things that people usually save for when company comes by I guess they can take out the good china and use it and on the bottom of those cups and plates you see made in China. So this is something that China has been playing or planning for years, for decades. World dominance, world power. And China came with free stuff. They came with cheap stuff and everything that's cheap is not good. Now I spoke on Periscope when I made a video and if you had Periscope um, I invite you to subscribe to me on Periscope but I spoke on Periscope and also YouTube about how China how I believe China purposely leashed this virus this was a chess move and see this what is what the demon craps and many Republicans were afraid of. This is why they were always afraid to go up against China. It's not that China had information against them. It's the fact that the United States created a monster with China. The United States gave too much power to China. See, they gave their power by sending their business to China. Things that people or Americans have grown to be used to, they become accustomed 
to certain lifestyles. They're accustomed to certain things. So now China is responsible for much of your tech. They're responsible for the medications that heal you. So the demon crabs and many Republicans were now afraid to go up against the monster that they created themselves by giving them too much power. But then Trump comes along. And he not knowing the depths of the swamp that he wants to drain, he now comes in, attacks this monster that everyone else is afraid of, and now we're dealing with the coronavirus that came out of China. So this is no more than a power grab. This is China fighting and working towards world dominance. So I'm going to read a portion of this article. I'm going to put the link on the bottom and you can check it out for yourself. But I want to read the caption that's on this photo. It says, in this photo taken Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020, a worker stands near China national flag. Peek this and propaganda which read go China in other words you're rooting for your country go China in other words we now have power over the great beast or the great whore America it says read it reads go China in Beijing as the rest of the world Keep this as the rest of the world grapples with burgeoning virus outbreak China's ruling Communist Party see a lot of y'all talk about communism and how you're for communists but this is government control this is what American citizens or many of American citizens want they want that communist. They want America to be in control, free stuff. And everything free is not good because you're selling your soul. And I've always been told since I was a child that there's nothing really free in life. There's always a price to pay. Even if you're paying with your own life, there is a price. So when you have political um, candidates coming with everything free to entice you, this is how China was able to gain power and dominance over America because they came with cheap stuff. Now, the demon crabs are playing the same game to gain power and dominance over the people. Once they get you to the point where you're dependent upon the government. It becomes a lifestyle to you. Now they have complete power and control over you and over your life. So when things don't go as planned, they'll destroy you. Just like they're trying to destroy President Trump. <clears throat> it says, so now China's ruling Communist Party has turned to its propaganda playbook, same thing the demon craps are doing, to portray its leader as firmly in charge, leading an army of health workers, an army of health workers, I'm gonna repeat that, because I don't think a lot of y'all heard what I said, an army of health workers in a people's war against the disease, but in reality, it's not really against the disease itself because they were the ones that created and launched the, uh, the disease. This is a people's war for power of China. They think they're working against the disease, but in reality, they're working in favor of China. It says, I'm gonna go down a little further. You can read this for yourself, okay? The disturbing threat made during a global pandemic 
as well as the scary consequences if the threat becomes real highlights just how tight China's grip is on the global supply chain. See, they were given that power. So now they have power over America. And in order to get that power or take that power, they have to go to war. So don't be surprised if this turned into an all out war. It says already the Food and Drug Administration has announced the first drug shortage related to the coronavirus. Though it did not disclose which drug was in short supply, the FDA did say it could not access enough raw components needed because they are made in China. Now the United States gave us power up because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. So they went for something that was cheaper. So now America now is dependent upon China, its enemy, to save its life because they didn't want to do for themselves. They wanted to save money. Just like we hear the Democrats talk about everything is free, free education. And keep in mind too, and this is a bullet point, keep in mind that right after you had the president of Canada and Tom Hanks and his wife was tested positive for coronavirus. Notice the politicians now are talking, uh, what's that health, uh, world health or something like that. What is it? They want, they want the, um, what's the term they use for that? Global health is something they said. Okay. But now they want, this is their way of now promoting global health. You know, in other words, health care, free health care for everybody, free health care for all, right? So now they're going to push that because now people are desperate. People are stocking up or buying out with toilet paper, uh, hand sanitizer, uh, Lysol, bleach. People are now panicking. So now it's their time to promote global health care, right? And people will fall for it because of fear. So the, China's doing the same thing. China's making chess moves. Now China, they seem quiet, they bow to you, but this is, this, is a, this is a push for power. See, the United States gave up its power just like American people should not give up their powers. See, once they're able, and, I, and this is a side note, once they're able to talk you into giving up your firearms, now they have complete dominance over you. You have no way to defend yourself. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear this, but Trump is your answer. Trump right now, and I know a lot of y'all that believe in the Most High, you trust, but the Most High uses people to do his work, even people that you uh, least expect. But right now, Trump is your answer. He's your only help because he's willing to fight for you. What he needs is the people to back him. Instead of going up against him or causing or creating more stress, we need to be getting behind him and supporting him. Because right now, Trump is the only help that America has. See, everything that glitters is not gold. And see, right now, the Democrats are now making moves saying, now we're going to now give up. We're going to give up some money now to try to help this and, you know, get tested and do all this. But once you get tested, and find out that you're positive, now there's no drugs to cure you. So it makes it, this is all a political scheme, man. See, so they become too reliant upon China. It says that doesn't come as a surprise to Senator Mark Rubio, who told Fox News on Thursday that America is dangerously reliant on China for the production 
of critical goods, including parts for technology needed to fight COVID ID COVID ID 19 coronavirus. Though the United States is a global leader in research, much of the manufacturing of life-saving drugs has moved overseas. The last American manufacturing plant to make a key component in penicillin shuttered in 2004. Since then, Chinese pharmaceutical companies have moved in and taken over, supplying between 80% and 90% of U.S. antibiotics. 70% of, I can't pronounce that, I know the word, and, 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 and about 40% of heparin, heparin, it's like you know the word, but you can't pronounce it, your tongue won't say it right, but you know it, according to whatever his name is, a senior fellow for global health at the Council on Foreign Relations. Right? And then it talks about the number of confirmed death. But it says if China makes good on its threat to cut off the United States, Rubio believes the results could be crippling. See, China knows that. They know that. They know that they they have the monopoly even on the protective face mask. Because now you have now a shortage. People are saying that there's a shortage of these face masks. And this is the last bit I'm going to read. As the rest of the world scrambles to contain the virus and protects its citizens, China has been busy casting itself in the role of global hero, going so far as to demand a thank you for containing the virus as long as it did. We should, we should say righteously that the United States owed China an apology. The world owes China a thank you. The editorial in Xinhu reads, Rubio said Beijing's comments should concern all Americans and that China is keenly aware that in a moment of crisis, they can threaten to cut us off from our pharmaceutical supplies they could trigger a domestic problem here that would make it difficult for us to confront them. It's a tremendous amount of leverage, Rubio said. And this right here is a thing where it actually shows the number of deaths. And there's a total confirmed of 145,369. See, that's worldwide. See, that's, that's a lot of power that China has. See, China created a problem so that they could be the heroes. They can be the ones that solved the problem, although they were the ones that created the problem. See, now this is an image, um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm telling y'all, man, see, I'm gonna tell you something. People might not like what you say. They may call it xenophobic or whatever. They may call it a racist or discrimination or whatever. But the truth is always going to stand. It don't matter how many times you may flag a video. It don't matter how many times YouTube may remove a video or uh, suspend a channel. Truth is always going to be revealed. Either you can sit, you may not like it, you can sit and you can listen to it, just bite your tongue, you know, or bite on something to, to try to calm that anger, to save yourself, or you can wait until the judgment comes and then you'll be a victim. See? Even when it comes to CDC, because I have an um, EDC channel, Everyday Carry channel. And there's products and supplies that, and there's quite a few EDC channels on YouTube. 
And we talk about things like this, the apocalypse and um, how people should start saving up certain items, you know, you know, um, bullets. You know, if you have a firearm, you should be stockpiling ammunition. You should be stockpiling foods and water. See, we talked about that. We talked about all the FEMA vans and the FEMA coffins, right? And this was done like, what, 10 years ago? We talked about that. And you had a lot of people that were saying that we were conspiracy theorists and saying that we were paranoid. And now we're in a time of crisis and people are going crazy. See, I always stock up. Now, tomorrow's my um, grocery shopping day. And I usually go out on the military post and go shopping at the commissary, you know? And out there, they also have a Sam's Club. So I usually stock up on certain items when I go shopping. But people need to start paying attention and listening. You really should start listening. Instead of fighting with us and quick to disagree with us, just listen. Because maybe we have some insight or information that you're not aware. See, no one person knows everything. See, we're all living together in this world together. So, again, and it's, it may get to the point where people are now uh, banned to their homes. They got to stay in their house. They can't come out. You know, or you may get situations where people start trying to mug people, breaking in people's house to get food and supplies because they lack. See, so this is this is much more than just a political move. And these politicians out there that's using this situation for a political come up, they don't realize that they're even destroying themselves and their own families. See, so China is playing chess. They're playing chess big time, right? And we hear Floyd Mayweather say all the time, man, he said, I play I played chess and not checkers. And I was going to do a video on the fact that his baby mama died. Is that a chess move? So, feedback. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Until next time. And I'm going to put a link to that dream on the bottom in this article for you to check out. It's tight, but it's right.